Howdy folks, it's RJ Helms here with episode four of Let's Play Open TDD with Furs. And we are doing pretty well for ourselves. Um, we have just been building a nice little minimal rail network, which is actually shaping up really, really nicely. I'm really happy with how this all looks. And we've got two supply chains more or less fully represented. Um, just to recap, we have oil going through um, to our oil refinery, which is producing both chemicals and gasoline. Apparently zero of each last month, which is odd. Um, the gasoline is going to this machine shop uh, where it is making farm supplies and engineering supplies. We are only dealing with engineering supplies right now. Uh, and then we've gotten the metal supply chain going, which uses the chemicals. So we have bauxite here going to a aluminum plant which is also taking the chemicals, which is going up here, uh, which is delivering metal, which is going up here to make goods and manufacturing supplies. Um, the engineering supplies are going back to our oil well and to the uh, bauxite mine. One thing I could also do, which I don't think I did, is um, if I have a surplus of metal, if that's something that starts happening, I can take metal also up to the machine shop to produce more engineering supplies and farm supplies. So let's see how we are doing if by waiting cargo, if anything calling for more vehicles. It does feel like we could use at least one more oil train. So let's just do that. The engineering supplies. We'll see. I might want another um, another one going from the the machine shop down to the bauxite mine. That might be a thing that I need. It looks like we do at least one more bauxite train. Where's my depot here? There you are. So okay, one more bauxite train. I'll keep an eye on that to see if I need another engineering supply going down to the box at mine. And then here, chemicals and petroleum. Or gasoline. The chemicals, I'm not sure. The chemicals are going here, right? So we could possibly even use one more of each. So one more chemical train. And one more gasoline train. Yeah, I'll do one more of each. Open up the depot. That might have been overkill. And my spidey sense is telling me I want some more platforms on the station just because there's enough trains here that with, with three chemical trains and three gasoline trains, I actually want at least seven platforms because I want to make sure that even if in the, you know, in the worst case scenario where every single, um, every single kind of outbound train that is picking up cargo here is waiting. Even in that scenario, train trying to drop things off can get in and that will just work to prevent our, um, from the station from totally deadlocking. It doesn't look like we're having that problem, but that's just a bit of an insurance policy. Doesn't look like we have a surplus of metal yet. I'm 
That train did not get properly grouped, so there we go. That's that sorted. Okay, so the question is now, um, well, one option would be what do we want to do with these goods and manufacturing supplies? Another question would be, because this also takes chemicals, I'm not delivering them there. So if I still have a surplus of chemicals, one thing I could do is, um, is run a chemical train not just to the the metal workshop, but also run a chemicals train to the aluminum plant. Looks like I still need more oil trains. Nope, don't want to rename that. Well, that's very much a consideration, right? Is if I uh, if I end up with a surplus of chemicals, that might be worth doing. But I'm not there yet. Oh, no wonder this isn't working. You are a goods train. What are you doing? You're in the metal group, right? I just must have, yeah, I must have not properly fit that. No, that's not going to work for me. Okay, yeah, so you can go down to that depot. I'll have to refit it. It's going to go all the way down to this depot for a refit, but that's not the end of the world. How's that doing for engineering supplies? I feel like I might want one more. Okay, so let's think about expanding now. Let's um, kind of look at the industries that are scattered around here that I'm not servicing. And see if there's anything that can link up nicely. Okay, train 13. So you, no, don't. Go to the depot. Just turn around. Yes, and you want to be refitted to metal. Okay, and you're going to pull the 90 degree turn here, which is okay. That's what I'm really curious about is if there's anything that uses manufacturing supplies. I could take the goods to a town. But let's look at our industry chains. And see if there's anything that nearby that takes manufacturing supplies. This port would turn them into engineering supplies. Who are you over here? A glassworks produces them. A textile mill takes them. Hmm, and that's right there. So it's wool or plant fibers. Is there any sheep farms around? I 
There's a couple. Is this one's production any good? No. You're an engineering supply train, right? Yeah, so you guys, I don't really care about your profitability. Um, what about this sheep farm? 18, 27. Maybe this is just what they produce. Um, what about this guy? 27. Yeah, they seem to all be producing down in this range. 18, 16. Okay, that doesn't seem terribly appealing. So what makes plant fibers? No, not fun new industry. A mixed farm. Mixed farm. Okay, that's more my speed. Okay, so here's what we'll do. The industry I was looking for was here. Yes, this textile mill. Because you take manufacturing supplies, specifically why I'm interested in you. these trees here so I can see what I'm doing. That was off by one, so I'll put it up here. You guys will drum this. I don't like that station actually, how it's shaping up. Let's remove the stations that are or the signals that are being obstructive. Actually, it's just that one. You become a pass signal, and you become a pass signal. You know this drill. Yeah, my concern with this is that that's going to make for a very long stretch of track that is not, so you're not able to be signaled on that one line. So what I'm actually going to do Pull us back even further. Yeah, and you're going to be a path signal there. You're going to be a path signal here. You can be signaled, not convert, just signaled straight up. I'm actually not sure about that signal. No, that could deadlock, so that signal I don't want there. It's actually how I had it in the first place, like this. That's correct. Okay, so you are going to be Kuwait North, so KWT North.
Here I'm going to pull this guy out. With the requisite path signal pokery. So this line swing a little bit wide of the engineering supply station. Curiosity. I actually feel like that it was is what I want. Just have this to be able to extend it in the future, swing wide of that. path signal, you're going to be a path signal. Signal you all up. Your path signal here. Okay, out of conversion mode. Alright, and this is just going to be for later. Okay, so you're going to be Stanley Manor, so... Where's Stanley? Oh, there you are. Tiny little town. Okay. Um, so, S. T N M. Sure. So, you will take plant fibers all the way down to there. To the textile mill. So let's see what vehicle takes plant fibers. Looks like it's the large hopper. One twelve, which seems like it's still gonna be my man, the Selkirk. Oh, I went too far. boost on the back of it. So you're going to go there, full load, and all the way down to the Kuwait textile mill. Uh, four letter code for plant, plant, STNM, one way to KWTN. Now that's going to take literally forever. Because this is the lower producing one. What I actually want is the... Um, this higher producing one, I want to have transfer stuff going on here. And this I'm just going to use a uh, tram just because I guess streetcars because I don't come my language is set that way just because I get a kick out of this. 
I'll make these four. Yeah, the heavy equipment stuff that's going on and this stuff is pretty cool. So let's see, I want something that's gonna take plant fibers. And I'm really concerned about capacity here, I think. Is so I can buy this guy and I can refit it to Plant fibers, let's go over the medium one. And you here, full load. And then go here, this is gonna be a transfer and leave empty order. It can be a Stockholm. So what was I calling Stockholm? S-K-H-M. Yeah, so I've got this nice long tram that kind of takes quite a bit less infrastructure and space. Um, but we'll do a similar job to a short train running this. It's just kind of a nice thing to mix up and get um, for these transfer orders. So you're going to need PLNT. I'll use that for transfer, but SKHM. Transferring. No, I'll use, I'll use the stars. It's important to have a code. I've used both in the past. To STNM. It's also only going to run every couple months, so I only need one of those realistically. And I've lost some space here just because, uh, in the fullness of time, I'm going to be transferring farm supplies back this way. and also get livestock going that way. So I want to have some room here to support multiple vehicles in this system. Can make this a bit tighter because it can be like so. Oh, I forgot to do a refit again. I'm having no luck. Okay, you stop. <laughs> Sloppy mistake. Okay, you are gonna go... Okay, turn around. Oh, you've gone too far. I want you to go to this depot. You know, turn around and go to a depot. There, now you're going to this one. That's some wasted time. Okay, so now you are going to be a plant fibers train. There we go. Okay, I'll keep you up. I should have kept you up before just to notice that problem. That was really foolish of me. Let's take a look at our other supplies. We still have tons and tons and tons of oil because this is staying quadrupled, so. Even one more of these. I have plenty of engineering supplies. I'm going to keep you up. All right, this guy is going, which is great. So let's look actually at... Go to my bauxite thing. You're staying quadrupled, actually, so you're fine. And you're telling me I want at least one more bauxite train. Okay, 
And I need at least one more metal train. I'm not sure why you're stopped. Oh. Yes, I am. <laughs> That's all one block of signal. Technically, you should be a path signal, actually. Okay, so I still have a surplus of metal. It doesn't seem like it. That's normal, so I do need one more engineering supply train. On this. Where's the other one? Okay, that's perfect. They can go like that. Okay, so... I was wondering if I have anything producing farm supplies, because that's what these guys want. I feel like no, because I'd probably know about that. Um... So I can just get the manufacturing supply train going. Yeah, that route is all rooted. And is it like a production quadruple so I take a certain month? No, it's just it produces them. Okay, so I can have a maximum size, so to speak. Manufacturing supplies train. Thirty, thirty, thirty. Seems like the gondola and the box car are the ones to go for. Just wondering if there's anything better. Nope, seems like the Selkirk's still the one. It's manufacturing supplies. I'll go for the box car because I think I'll like the look of it better. And then a caboose. You're gonna, oh, don't forget to refit this time. Manufacturing supplies. Right, you're gonna get a new group. Your group is going to be manufacturing supplies, V, N, A, W, to K, W, T, N. And this ends in goods. This is also going to have a lot of goods. I've still got a surplus of oil, so... One more oil train. And I wonder... No, this doesn't take any supplemental goods, it's just doing its thing as best it can, it's really busy. I want 
you up too so I can see what's happening. Oh, you make farm supplies. I'd forgotten about that. Okay, well, let's do that in the next episode. I think this is this is a good place to stop. We've got the um, the plant fiber through to goods or to um, the furniture factory that supply chain built, which is really simple. And we've got the manufacturing supplies, which are going now. Lots of plant fibers. This will be along soon enough, I think, with the manufacturing supplies. Let's get a couple more shipments in there. Um, and that'll go to there. So we've got a couple more things that are logical conclusions to do. I want to um, kind of bring this back onto the main line on that side to get some farm supplies going here. That's going to require some interesting transfer orders. So that'll be that'll be a fun, um, fun thing to do. And we should also look in the next episode at delivering our goods. We now have a metal workshop and a textile mill that are both going to be producing goods, presumably in fairly large quantities as time goes on. So. Um, it is a logical place to go next to start um, sending those goods to some towns, and that actually might open up the door of some passing service. Uh, so everything is proceeding apace. Um, and the tree's back on because they're pretty. So this has been uh, Open TTD Furs. I have been Arjay Helms. Thanks for watching. So as always, please leave me any comments or thoughts or feedback you have about this series or um, anything else that you'd like to see. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more things like this, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.